All right, let's take a look here. Brandon Ayuk, now San Francisco 49er. There are some questions in the midpoint of the draft. Uh, C.D. Lamb, Jerry Judy were sitting there on the board, and, and I remember uh, spending some time talking about what C.D. Lamb might look like in this offense, and then San Francisco went and took Javon Kinlaw at that point to replace uh, DeForest Buckner. And so there's some question about where might they go at the wide receiver position. They had just lost Emmanuel Sanders, who they had traded for mid-year, was an excellent player for them moving through the playoff run, obviously, to the Super Bowl. And they selected Brandon Ayuk. And I think everybody, you know, universally understood that this player's skill set in that offense is going to be really dynamic and wanted to take a look at why. So Ayuk's going to spend some time both inside and outside here in the Arizona State offense. And we're going to see him, particularly what he does in terms of tracking the ball, his catch radius, and what he does after the catch. Uh, so let's take a look at him here. So pretty simple little spot route. All right, doesn't do a whole lot technically here, gets around fast. But again, what the interesting element is for him is what happens after the catch. So we're going to see him here, floats here to the bottom of the numbers. He's stressed outside, feels that DB coming for his outside hip. Boom, pivots back inside, gets north and south, has the strength to fight through that one, but he's not done yet. All right, second player comes, still fighting. Third player, fourth player finally comes before he gets taken down. You're going to notice this throughout this cut up here of Ayuk. He's constantly fighting for yards afterwards. So again, ball out, pivots back inside. And just come back here and hit the pause button for everybody. So we're going to see him come back in the picture right here. And again, gets north and south. And again, fighting through angles, staying up. That balance, that strength is going to be really impactful for him. Now, one of the things that's interesting about him is his height to arm length ratio. He's got 33 and a half inch arms. I think it's like an 81 inch wingspan total, which is about what Calvin Johnson had at 6'5". Saw that in the broadcast last night. And what that does, it creates a really big catch radius for the player. And we're going to see that throughout that despite he has a six foot frame, you can really put the ball out in front of him. And again, we're going to see it right here as he takes this little skinny post, boom, comes right inside. You can see him catch right out in front of his face. And ball's great right on his upfield shoulder, but he, you can see his body lean right here. He's going to come into this catch, but he's going to lean into this catch, pluck out away from his frame, and he loses absolutely no momentum, but carries him right past that corner. And again, creates yards afterwards, ultimately creates a, a big impactful score for them. So this is going to be really impactful in this San Francisco offense. And again, we're going to show some clips at the end uh, that can communicate a little more on, on why exactly that shows up. Uh, so we're going to see it. There we go. Just, just fighting in the screen. Tight copies. Interesting there. But he's got that upfield lean to him. At this point, this DB doesn't have a chance. And then he's got the foot speed to outrun that player to the end zone. Uh, so excellent stuff there. So, again, what's interesting is that unique blend of the way he catches the fluidity to it. He definitely has some areas for technical refinement. There's no doubt about it. Um, but he is an athlete. He is a football player. Uh, he seems to understand it. He just need to refine himself as a technician. So his DB comes here off the edge. All right, this is our matchup here. So this is going to be the rotation over the top. They're going to understand that. Clearly, they have this little sit-down built in. We've seen that already. All right, now the uh, quarterback is going to lead him upfield here into contact, right? That DB's closing fast with the way he gets pulled down. So now we have a much shorter distance than if he just put it on his numbers, he'd be back here. But now he's got to turn, catch the ball. Now he's first facing this defensive back. Boom. Makes that subtle move, but realizes the DB commits. And again, football player. Spins out of it, fights forward, catches his balance, and gains yards. I know it doesn't look like much, but these are those hidden yards of the game. Instead of being stopped in the 37-yard line, we're fighting forward, and we got the thing out to the 41. That's four extra yards right there. Those are things that move the sticks on third down. Those are big, impactful uh, plays over the course of a season. A lot of hidden yards after the catch in this young man's game, and something Kyle Shanahan's going to know exactly how to use. So here we have him against Oregon State. All right. We're up top, got a little motion in. Get to that stack release. And he's going to come inside. And this is timing. He's got to wait for that vertical to clear. All right. So they're going to stretch it here and then bend him back outside. And so he's got to wait for that to clear. Boom. Come underneath. Ball's a little bit behind him. Didn't really lead him out there. But he catches it. And again, he's got a feel for these defenders. He feels the defender closing on his back. Boom. Spins inside. Fights through that contact. 
Now we're out running players and picking up big yardage. I mean, this guy is a yards after the catch machine from that standpoint, which is something we can say about Debo Samuel that San Francisco added last year. So, again, they, they clearly covet these players they're going to generate afterwards. So, again, ball pulls him back inside. He feels number two coming, spin, spins inside, outruns one, gets to the perimeter, and then ultimately steps out of bounds. Uh, again, these yards that he adds here on top of the play, uh, so impactful. So we're going to have him here to the top of the screen, condenses that split down. All right, so we're going to see a little quarters look here. This corner is going to stay outside leverage on him. All right, he's got to stay over the top. That's his the corner's responsibility. But we're going to see Ayuk stem him out, get him to commit, and then break this thing back inside. And he does a really good job for this right here. It gets the head, right? Once he sells his head to the outside, and you're going to see that in there. Then he's able to sink. You can see him sink his hips through that break point, snap his head around, and now he's vertical. Ball's right on him, and this is obviously an explosive play down the field. So this is not a, a just short under intermediate player. This is not just, you know, basically a running back you get in a screen game. Uh, he does have other elements to his game, and he's, he's got some areas, again, to refine as a route runner, uh, but th he's, it's, he's not completely raw from that standpoint. This is not uh, – uh, just a lump of clay that you need to mold. He, he brings a lot to the table already. So we're going to see him with the ball here at the end. Now we're tracking over our shoulder. Love this angle for that. You can see him in stride, tracking over his shoulder, seeing that thing all the way in. And again, he's able to convert because he has to slow down a little bit here, secures it, and then converts, gets his balance, and he's still looking to make somebody miss afterwards. Again, brings a lot of that to the table here. All right, so he's got a little more vertical body posture. We're down below. In the two by two set, got a press look corner, and here we go, making that guy miss. A little outside jab step, he gets that guy's hand. I'll pause it here. So once he gets this hand and this foot committed, then he's able to break that back inside, and then get back on his line. All right. So when you see him when he starts, he's right here on the top of the numbers. All right, but now he's got to work himself inside, but he fights to get back on top of the numbers. We'll say the DB does a good job of getting back in the hip pocket right underneath him. But he's staying physical here. He's creating his own separation with his right arm here throughout this. Again, tracking the ball under duress, in phase, in conflict, tracking over his shoulder. Heck of a job here. And, again, we'll see the end of this play uh, from the end copy. We won't be able to see that release, but we'll be able to see him tracking here. So we'll see from the quarterback's vantage point, puts that ball up in the air. And again, it's a little bit harder to see here, but he's got his right arm in there, creating a little bit more of a window. Does a great job tracking this over his shoulder, catching in stride, and again, bringing that thing forward. All right, so here he is against Arizona. All right, so I'll bring this back. He's number two here to the top. Little inside move. Although it's a defender moving out to the flat, it's a little bit of wasted motion. Has a defender pushing the hash. This is this is something that people are actually going to like. Uh, that he understands that we got a clear out here and a flat player here. He actually can take this a little more vertical into that vacated space. And again, now he converts to a runner. So the, the scheme gets him open. All right, they're on a three levels play here. So they have a first level, a second level, and a third level player here. Flood or Seattle or some names you'll hear for it. So he opens up here, catches the ball on the 41, or I'm sorry, the 39. And then again, it's convert to a runner. Pivot back inside, make one miss, get back north and south. And we go from catching the ball to 39 to running to the 29. 10 extra yards of after the catch here. This is the kind of stuff that clearly got Kyle Shanahan excited about what we could do with him. And very fluid athlete. You know, just really smooth with the way he can sink himself and move. Um, clearly excited here. So, again, we got a press look, a little bit of an inside shade, which is difficult, right? It's really hard to get inside release on that because the DB is taking that leverage away. But it's that little left foot jab step. We're going to see that foot come right out here. Gets that corner committed, gets his hips uh, parallel to the sideline. All right, and then he's able to cross face and get back inside. 
All right, now he's feeling him get over the top. He knows he needs to come underneath. So he lets him run by, pivots underneath him. Ball's on his back shoulder. Again, catches. Look at this. Look at him catch and immediately pirouette, pivot back up field as a runner. Feels like he never breaks stride during all that. Catches on his back hit, pivot, run, and again, picks up an extra seven, eight yards on this one. Again, a little better ball placement could even help it more. But we see him here. He's going to come in. You're going to watch him feel this corner over the top and then use his arm here, break him. Ball's right there in his back hip. His head's around. Look at him adjust late. His head just snaps around, and the ball is right here on top of him. Catch, pivot, and run for more. Some really excellent stuff. So now let's take a look at what Emmanuel Sanders did in the San Francisco offense last year and how that might translate. Again, trying to look at what Ayuk can do uh, to replicate that success. All right, so we're going to have Emmanuel here slot aligned. Again, that press alignment we just saw a few times from Brandon. He takes his inside release. And we can see the ball placement from Garoppolo. Allows Sanders to be a runner. And then again, look at him after the catch. Feels that first defender, makes him miss. Outruns, looks to cut back. That looks familiar. So let's see this from the end copy. Ball in the field shoulder. Boom. Good angle. Settle back inside. Fight for more. So this was something that San Francisco obviously got a lot out of. We're going to see Sanders in motion here. Got a lot out of through their stretch run. And again, I think you're going to feel where Ayuk immediately steps in to this situation. So again, get that corner stepping down. He's got to work his release. He's got a little slant here. Now, he's a better technician from that standpoint. He doesn't waste as much movement. All right, he keeps the corner guessing. There's a manipulation there, but it's sudden when he snaps it around. And now he starts to float up field. Again, ball takes him there. So, again, we're not seeing a flat here. We're starting to see him float this thing up just a little bit, which gives him an opportunity to be an immediate runner afterwards. Great ball placement. And then, boom, he's converting up field. Again, shoestring tackle brings him down, but he's feeling like he could have had more out of that. So this is the one area where that the release and that break or something I can do a little bit better. But right here, catch away from your frame, in motion, and convert upfield as a runner. Again, if he doesn't get that shoestring pulled, he's going to continue to add yards there. So bring this thing back. Sorry, guys. Let me circle that up for you. So down below here, again, press alignment. And great little release move here. Gets it inside shoulder, snaps that off. Again, all areas IU can do a little bit better to, to clean himself up, make himself a technician. But right here, catch it through that window, let up field, and now let's be an athlete. Let's be a runner. Make this guy miss. Cut back off of him. Again, this looks awfully familiar to me from watching IU play here. I, I think they're looking at this as a, as a one to one uh, without having to pay the money that, ironically, New Orleans just paid to Emmanuel uh, to bring him there. So this is going to be a weapon immediately in this Shanahan offense. This role, uh, he can step in and be a functional player immediately on. And then I wanted to show you a deep ball here. Again, let me bring it back. We've got a tight split. Again, and we saw Ayuk tracking and catching the deep ball. So let's see what it looks like for Sanders here. So he manipulates Bell, gets him turning out. Boom, stem back in. We just saw that same thing against that quarters, quarters corner. Alliteration aside. All right, and now again. Ball tracking in phase and catch. Again, to me, this is a player that immediately steps in. Um, again, not the technician, but you can use in a similar capacity and get similar things out of. Uh, Brandon's got some areas to clean up, but I, you can see where San Francisco felt really good about this. Again, tracking in phase with somebody there, heck of a job. Very excited about what this young man can do with Kyle Shanahan and the San Francisco 49ers. Thank you